one is a, this one is main. So this uh, this should be different. Okay, sometimes it should be zero zero one different. Okay, so this you are you should do uh, you first your check is uh, so this is zero one or zero three that you can see. Okay, if it is zero three, it will come zero three. So it is zero two, you can put zero two only. Okay. So that your point will say. So which pane you need to use? Okay, and group header. So in the group header column, message ID, credit term, number of transaction, control sum, group, uh, uh, initiating party. So these are all things are there. But I am explaining message ID, credit term, number of transaction. How 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 can I explain all these things? Because already worked. Okay, so you guys not able to see what is message ID and all. So in this point of view, first to understand this file format. Okay. So actually, what is the requirement here? So in the group ID, so in the group block B, this comes under the group header elements. Okay. So what is mean by message ID? Message ID means message identification. So here message ID is there. So this is the way first understand. Message ID means message identification. Okay. So credit date and time. So that means this uh, CRE DT means credit date and time. In the output file format, once you executed F110 output file format, so the first header data will be this one. Okay, so right now you executed one file format, right? So your header data should be like this. Okay, after that group header elements will come. Okay, so group header elements, message ID, credit date and time, number of transaction, control sum. So here you should understand what is this meaning first. So it's a credit date and time. So you should understand what is the number of transaction. What is this? Number of transaction you should understand. This is number of transaction, and what is the control sum? You should understand what is control sum. This is the control sum. Okay. So what is the grouping area? GRPG. GRP is not there. Control sum. This is control sum. Okay. And uh, like that, you know, first understand the file format. In group B, what are the items are there? This is group B. Message ID, credit term, number of transaction. These all things are there. What is the meaning of this? And uh, so message ID in output file in output format. Uh, so where we can see message ID, and where we can see credit term, where we can see number of transaction, where we can see control sum. So uh, message ID, message ID means what? The system generates internal identification that consists of the company number, bank account number, and next number. So in the output file format. Okay. So let's say this is your output file format. See first will come this one. So pain 001003 will come first. Okay, and after that, in the group header, message ID will come. So message ID ABC, something is there, right? So message ID message. This is the output file format. Once you executed automated payment program, then this file format should become ABC 0609.28 CCT is there. Okay, what is that meaning first? So this this you can find over here. Okay. What is the message ID? The system generates internal identification consists of a company number, bank account number, and the next number. So this should be, this should be, so your company number, company number, bank account number. So like that, this is the format system will pick. Okay. So this is message ID and uh, credit date and time. So when you are executed this, uh, when you are executed automatic payment program, when the file format has been generated, those details will be come over here. So what is this uh, uh, credit date and time system generates date and timestamp at the time of formatting this message. Okay. And first, uh, what is the bank requirement? So your bank says maximum 35 characteristics. Your message ID should be 35 characteristics. First, check it out. So your length is 10. Okay. So you need to make it is 35. Okay, so according to the bank requirement, so your length, bank account length should be 35. Okay, so you can change it. So 35. And your credit and debt format should be so YYMM and DD format. Okay, so here you can also see this is YYMM and DD format. How the output file will be generated, those things also you can see. So this is the way. How this is your. First, yeah, YYMM DD format. So in output file format, when you executed those details here, we can see. Okay, and here, so and the next one is number of transactions. What does this mean? So if you executed three payments, okay, system will give you number of transactions. Okay, see here you can see so number of transactions so that is uh, clear only three. 
okay system will pay what is the amount control sum means amount what is the amount of that 2400 and uh, uh, 2400.56 this is the payment okay so these are all things uh, one uh, when it is generated once we executed automated payment program this is the output file format so before understanding the sepa payment first you should understand so what is this all okay what is group header what is message id what is credit term where it is reflected in the output file format those things you need to um, gain this is a, a block a this is a block b so block b message id credit term okay that meanings you can only understand if you read out this all and uh, the comment uh, place this is this is bank requirement okay so number of transaction what is the amount uh, in the bank is saying 15 numeric okay so 15 numeric so here 8 is there you just put 15 numeric okay so like that so we need to uh, do the configurations okay and control sum group id so what is the control sum how much length of bank expecting okay so here control sum nothing bank is not expecting nothing then you can remove this okay and before saving the system first you can activate okay you can activate the system first you need to activate this okay so this activation is done then you can save it so whatever the settings you have done so that is activated mode okay 